Thank you and welcome to Disavowed. I am your always honorable and gracious host. And tonight, we bring you a story of injustice. Injustice and discrimination that cannot be tolerated in this world. We must stand up and fight against this type of injustice and discrimination. I now present to you this beautiful, curvy, blonde bombshell of a woman that just appeared on your screen that was denied entry into a beauty pageant for no other reason than the discrimination because the fact that she is transgendered. This beautiful woman would have won a, run away with the top spot in that beauty pageant if there was not a bunch of bigoted old white males running this pageant up in Canada. I now present to you this horrific miscarriage of justice. Transgender woman sues after being refused by beauty pageant. A Canadian transgendered woman is suing a beauty pageant company for refusing to allow her to compete in this contest. According to the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedom, which represents the business. Jessica Yavani, a transgendered LQBTQ rights activist, filed a human rights complaint against Toronto's Canada Galaxy pageants, alleging it of, is in violation of Ontario Human Rights Code. The conservative legal policy organization announced Monday in May 2019, Janvin, whose biological sex is male, applied to be a contestant in the pageant's 28 years and older division, but did not disclose she was transgendered and had yet to complete gender reassignment surgery, the Justice Center alleged. Janvin was tentatively accepted to the pageant, but the business had a formal policy stating only genetic females or transgendered women who had fully transitioned were allowed to be contestants, the Justice Center said. When Janvin was reminded of the policy, she filed a complaint alleging the pageant company engaged in discrimination based on gender identity, gender expression, and sex. She is seeking $10,000 in damages for injury to dignity and feelings and wants Ontario's Human Rights Tribunal to rule that Organizations cannot refuse service to someone based on their genitals, the Justice Center alleged. For reasons of safety and security, it is imperative that biological women and girls and fully transitioned transgendered females have spaces where they can associate free from the presence of individuals with male genitals. This is particularly so in situations where women and girls are exposed or vulnerable, Allison Kendall Pajoyevich, an attorney with the Justice Center, said in a statement, Jan V. didn't admittedly re immediately return a request for comment and her complaint, which is confidential, was not readily available. The Justice Center 
accused the activists of being a serial filer of human rights complaints. In 2019, Yanvi filed a series of complaints against five Vancouver whatever for their refusal to perform bikini waxes on her because because of her genitals the bc human rights tribunal later dismissed the charges and ruled jan v's motive was to target small businesses for personal financial gain not prevent or rem remedy discrimination according to the telegram but no you thought that this story ended there it's bad enough this beautiful woman had to deal with the discrimination of these bigots at the pageant. No, now she has to deal with the most bigoted family on the planet piling on, just kicking her while she's down. Yes, that's true. Donald Trump Jr. has to jump in and make snide remarks about the trans woman reportedly suing the beauty contest. Yes, this horrible, horrible beating up on this beautiful trans woman while she's down. Donald Trump Jr. has lashed out at transgendered woman Jessica Yanvi on Twitter, targeting her over reports that she has lodged a human rights complaint against a beauty pageant. The president's son made the seemingly derogatory remark in response to a shared article reporting that Miss Yanvi had filed a human rights complaint against a Canadian beauty pageant for preventing her from participating. The pageant's policy only allows biological females or those who had fully transitioned to participate. Yes, the whore. It has nothing to do with her being trans, Mr. Trump Jr. said, a comment which many users interpreted as the president's son making a negative Remark against Miss Yavani's appearance. No, he would never do such a thing. A number of users criticized Mr. Trump Jr. for the remark, one describing the post as sad and exhausting. Miss Yanvi did not immediately respond to the Independent's request for comment regarding the tweet. Miss Yanvi made headlines in the past for filing complaints against a number of waxing salons claiming that they discriminated against her gender identity and expression. The complaint was later dismissed and Miss Yanvi was ordered to pay $2,000 to three waxing salons involved in the case, the Vancouver Sun reported. I find that Miss Yanvi's predominant motive in filing her waxing complaints is not to prevent or remedy alleged discrimination, but to target small businesses for personal gain. Yeah, we already covered that. Thanks. Mr. Trump Jr. has previously been criticized for making disparaging remarks against trans women or expressing anti-trans rhetoric. In 2009, a trans cyclist Blame Mr. Trump Jr. for an increase in death threats aimed at her following a rant on Twitter. The president's older son lashed out at Rachel McKinnon in 2019 after she came, claimed the gold medal for the women's event at the UCI Masters Track Cycling World Championships. Mr. Trump called her victory BS and claimed that it would destroy women's sports and everything so amazing, so many amazing athletes have worked their entire lives to achieve. In the same year, while promoting his book on CBS, he was cut off by present, 
presenters after pushing anti-trans talking points. Yes, do not forget this when we go out and vote this Tuesday. We can finally have equality for the trans community by getting these horrible bigoted people out of the White House. I mean, look at this beautiful woman right here. She just wants happiness. Anyone that would deny this woman entry into a beauty pageant is nothing but a hateful bigot, I tell you. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Oh, this is this is what our world has become. You have all been disavowed.